What's going on guys? So, I'm with Harsh Reality on this. Nick the tow truck driver, roadside assistance Nick, whatever you want to be called, I'll call you out too. Harsh made a video just very recently saying, Nick has this credible information supposedly he has this proof that he was there. He's 100% sure he saw Kylie. Why are you not doing anything about it? Why are you only going to a YouTube channel, only allowing them to give your interview through their own voice? You're not identifying yourself. You're not speaking out publicly. Everybody knows what you look like. A lot of us already know who you are. So why are you not speaking out personally? If you have this information, if you have this info that we need so badly to prove foul play, then why do you not present it? Why is it just a story? I was all Team Nick at first. I believed you. Wholeheartedly, I believe you. If you say that you have evidence, show me. Show harsh. Allow the public to see this evidence. Allow the public to decide for themselves because the way you're going about it right now only lends credibility to the fact that you have no credibility. It only lends credibility to the fact that you won't put your face on camera even though you were willing to in the AWP video. Everybody knows what you look like, Nick. You're not hiding behind anything. Everybody knows what you sound like, Nick. You're not hiding behind anything. All you're doing is giving people a reason to discredit you. If you believe this the way you said you do to Squirrel Girl, then come out and say it. Don't hide behind your whole, I don't want to be involved. Don't hide behind, I'm scared for my life. Don't hide behind the stuff because you're publicly speaking out, supposedly, but then we can't see you say it. I want to know what your story is. I want to know if you're credible or not. It matters to me. It's personal at this point. It's not okay to play games about a girl who lost her life. If you didn't see her that Saturday after, then you need to speak up and say something. If you did see her that Saturday after, then you need to speak up and say something. There's absolutely no scenario where you should be hiding behind anonymity. We know who you are. We saw your face. We heard your voice. We know what your story was. Now, if it has changed, if there is more to it than AWP gave us, the rest of that interview, if you feel you are telling the truth and you are correct, then come let us know. If you feel like you may be mistaken, then come let us know. And if you just made all the shit up, come let us know because we need to know this. You don't get to just hide information like this. I understand people want to protect people. People want to cover for people. But you saw what happened to Ikmel when he tried to do that for Ronnie, right? If you witness something, you need to come out and say it in a way that people can't discredit that it's not really you. I'll show you all the respect in the world. I'll give you as fair treatment as you can ask for. I have no personal gripes against you. If you go back and watch my videos, I believed you. I still believe you, but I don't even know what your story is yet. You seemed credible to me at first, but the Squirrel Girl interview for me placed doubt in my mind about you. Because when you say you're 100% sure you saw Kylie the next day, and you're 100% sure you'd bet a million dollars on it that it was her? And then we have footage of Kylie going into the water that night? Or a car going into the water that night, at the very least? Then that brings up questions, doesn't it? So if you feel like you told the truth, if you feel like you 100% saw Kylie the day after the party, you need to speak up and speak out. You are no more safer right now than you would be if you spoke out. You would be more safe if you got on video 
and said, I saw this, this happened, this happened, this happened. I know for a fact this. Show us your GPS location that says you were there at that time. Show us what you have to prove that you're right. Show us your conviction in your statements. Show us that you're a credible person and that you will stand behind those statements so we can stand behind you. Or show us that you just wanted attention because that's the only other option now. At first, I believed it could be mistaken identity. You could have saw a different car, helped a different set of people, and assumed that maybe it was possibly Kylie, so you reported it, which would have been the right thing to do. But now that you're saying you 100% identified Kylie the day after she went missing, when there's video of a car going into the water, and the car they pulled out of the water was Kylie's with Kylie inside, now we have to ask you, is there a whole lot more going on to this story? Did all the stuff really happen with your employer and the police and the videos just disappearing? What was the real excuse behind that? What did they tell you happened to the video? Was it that the, the video was deleted before you ever asked for it? Is that what they told you? Or did they have it and sent it to police and the video just disappeared? Keeping this one short and sweet, buddy. There's no harm from me. There's no threat from me. There's no anything bad toward you from me. This is just me backing harsh reality up to say that if you saw something, if you know something, and you're sure about it, if you have conviction in your heart about it, let us know. Let us see it. Otherwise, tell us you're not sure. Don't hide behind it. Your face is out there. Your voice is out there. Let your voice be heard. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think Nick should come out and say something? Or do you think that he's worried about his safety? Because I don't buy that. I don't buy that whatsoever because he's already inserted himself into this case. He's given interviews with other people, but he won't put himself on camera saying the things he's saying. Why not? I want to believe you, Nick. I want to believe that you're a good person and that you're telling the truth. Like the video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel to see more. Hit that notification so you get notifications every time I post. Have a great day, and we'll see you later.